Hey, so we're here at IBFS Gam 2019 at the Sci-Fi Fair, and we're here with Jocelyn from Brave Browser, and she's gonna tell us what she's come here to present, uh, to demo, and tell us a little bit more about what you're working on at Brave and with IBFS. Okay, so yeah, we are demonstrating the integration with IPFS inside Brave. So right now we have a one-click install for IPFS company extension inside the Brave Nightly. So it's a one-click. When you click a toggle, it just shows up and asks you if you want to install IPFS Companion with all the permission. You are going to grant it. it. Yeah. And after you add it, yeah, just give it a moment to install. IPFS Companion running with yep. just one-click. Yes. It's amazing user experience, right? It reduces friction. <laughs> yeah, that's great. And it makes it easy for people to use IPFS with just one click. Yes. Yeah. And we have an experimental mode. We are currently collaborating with IPFS team. Yeah, sure. So we have a mode that embedded in Chrome sockets. So what it does is Brave actually exposing sockets API to IPFS companion. So it's different from Chrome, so we could have the ability to use like TCP API and UDP API for inside Brave. Yeah. And with that, what it actually does is... So wait, you said using TCP and UDP APIs. Where are those APIs actually coming from? Is it a special It's a uh, kind API of an experimental uh, API Chrome has. It just doesn't expose usually. Right, right, yeah. right. of course. OK, got it. Yeah. yeah. And I'm not sure if yeah. what it is. No worries, no worries, we're not live. <laughs> we're not live. Okay. Oh my god. They're sharing us in like, I'll say the gracia or something. <laughs> yeah, no worries. The network here is sir. Yeah, okay, yeah, so we have that factor. Uh, the network here is a bit iffy. <laughs> Which is something that uh, we definitely need to get better at. <laughs> Offline first use cases. Because, <laughs> okay. uh, like, basically everybody here is running an IPFS beer, so we should be able to interface without the internet. Yeah. So, <laughs> nice. you can show the difference that okay. the gateway is now a local HTTP gateway. So, it's actually running right inside the browser, it's built in the browser. Right. So, when you like to so IPFS is currently running inside the Brave process? Uh, you have an IPFS node running inside yes. Brave. It's, yeah. Yeah. So are you using, uh, this is JS IPFS, right? It's pure JS IPFS. Got it. So you don't need a daemon or IPFS desktop install for that. Right. Yeah. Okay. Got and it. You yeah. Could, like, pick a file. So Jocelyn is just picking a file. She just dropped it onto the IPFS companion uh, page. Mm -hmm. but so you can see the file could directly loaded from your node. Right. It's so from your HTTP gateway. So your so your H, so your node is actually just serving this file onto the IPFS network yep. and exposing it as well on t from the gateway mm -hmm. itself. Yes. Right, right. Right. So what kind of use cases do you think this? extension and making it so seamlessly easy uh, for users to install IPFS enables. What do you think use cases, what, what use cases are uh, in it are important that can be built on top of this? I just, for me personally, I just yeah. not so much into install uh, another desktop application for right. any cases. Right. So it's a good use case for users who like me. Yeah. And yeah, so with that, we could just do all the address stuff so I mean, just with that. All users have a web browser installed on yeah. the computer, right? Yeah. So, so why would you need to install another yeah, application right. to interact with if a decentralized browser? Yeah, if you just like want to share a file with your peer yeah. locally, yeah, things like that could be really useful. That's pretty cool. So now you get uh, basically a CID that you can provide anybody else, yeah. right? And they'll be able to get this content from you because you're, by using those experimental extensions, those experimental APIs, you're actually connected to the IPFS swarm over TCP and UDP directly. So you're not a second class node, you're a first class node. Yeah. But 
right now it's still working in progress because right now the biggest problem we have right now is like JS IPS doesn't enable DHT by default right now. So yeah, so we still have problem for content discovery. So for the content moment. discovery yeah. and peer routing essentially yeah. are, are missing links. So. Yes. Cool. Right. Uh, I know that the team has been working hard at yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, are you joining the community as well? Like, are you have you been able to meet uh, you know the team that's actually building and hacking yeah, yeah. on the JS IPFS DHD here in the event? Are you finding the event in general uh, IPFS Camp? Yeah, I really like the event that get to know the IPFS folks because yeah. we didn't get into this area so much yeah. before joining yeah. the event. Yeah. yeah. So it's the first time that you're meeting people face to face uh, yes. from the IPFS community. Yeah, that's right. Right, right. And you know that's that's also important when you work in open source, right? Things uh, can get a bit impersonal, right? On like especially they can get a bit, you know, fiery sometimes with issues and pull requests that you know you might have a little bit of friction. So always, you know, it's good to establish those personal yeah. relationships with, with the community as well, right? I cool. feel really great to meet with a person we already worked with. Yeah. Like from through Slack. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, really yeah. Put, in, put yeah, a face to a name, right? Yeah. One hundred percent. Really so, uh, okay. <laughs> I, I wanted to continue and ask you two, two more questions. So we'll continue on this. In a second. What are you guys working on right now, and what can we expect to see in Brave Browser uh, in terms of integration with IPFS and Libby2P in the near future? Okay, so. Oops. Okay, so. Back ID, please. Yeah. All right, should I repeat? Okay. So, uh, our future plan here is one of us is it's still showing like the gateway address yeah. right now, so yeah. we we'll want to make it more seamlessly okay. like IPFS something. Just about it, yeah. and we also are looking at maybe adding protocol handler support, so nice. it could That's recognize IPFS and IBNS directly yeah. in the browser That's pretty sweet. more seamlessly. Yeah. Awesome. So those protocol handlers would be tackling libp2b yeah. directly and attaching protocol handlers for like streams and libp2b and so on. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. All right, so that's it. Thanks a lot for this interview. It was great to meet you, Jocelyn, you. and great to see everything that, that Brave Browser is doing yeah. with IPFS. It's nice to be here, and thank you for your awesome. time. Thank you.